Hello again, and welcome back to Granny Dorothy Visits. Today's topic is Thoughts That Strengthen You. And the first reading is from Everyday Positive Thinking, Louise Hay's book. And this is by Louise Hay. The thoughts you choose to think and believe right now are creating your future. These thoughts form your experiences tomorrow, next week, and next year. And the next one is from Julia Cameron's Blessings. Life is a creative endeavor. It is active, not passive. We are the yeast that leavens our lives into rich, fully baked loaves. When we experience our lives as flat and lackluster, it is our consciousness that is at fault. We hold the inner key that turns our lives from thankless into fruitful. That key is blessing. My father's house has many mansions, we are told. By counting our blessings, we name ourselves accurately as children of the universe, the richly dowried children of God, or if you prefer, of good. Focused on our good, focused on our abundance, we naturally attract more of the same. This is spiritual law. Our consciousness is creative. What we focus on, we empower and enlarge. Good multiplies when focused upon. Negative multiplies when focused upon. The choice is ours. Which do we want more of? In every event, in every circumstance, we have a choice of perspective. Faced with difficulty, we can choose between disappointment and curiosity as our mindset. The choice is ours. Will we focus on what we see as lacking, or will we look for the new good that is emerging? In every moment, however perilous or sorrowful it may feel, there is the seed of our greater happiness, greater expansion, and greater abundance. And the last reading from Wayne Dyer's book, Ten Secrets for Success and Inner Peace. Thoughts that strengthen you. When you shift from a thought that's a very low energy vibration to one of a higher frequency, you go from weak to strong. When your thought is on blaming others, you're weakened. But when you shift to loving and trusting others, you become strong. Your thoughts come with an accompanying energy, so you might as well shift to those that empower you. Once you realize that what you think about is the source of your experience of reality, then you'll begin to pay more attention to what you're thinking in any given moment. Many years ago, in a tremendously popular audio program called The Strangest Secret. Earl Nightingale taught many of us that we become what we think about all day long. Your thoughts determine whether you're being empowered or weakened, whether you're happy or sad, successful or not. Everything is a thought that you carry around with you. Happy thoughts create happy molecules. Your health is determined largely by the thoughts you have. Passionately think that you won't get a cold and your body will react to your thoughts. Refuse to entertain thoughts of fatigue, jet lag, or headaches and your body responds to your thoughts. Your mind tells your body to produce the drugs it needs to keep you healthy. Give someone a sugar pill and convince them that it's an anti-arthritic drug and that person's body will react 
to the placebo with the increased production of anti-arthritic energies. The mind is a powerful tool in creating health. It also creates divine relationships, abundance, harmony in business, and even parking places. If your thoughts are focused on what you want to attract in your life, and you maintain that thought with the passion of an absolute intention, you'll eventually act upon that intention because the ancestor to every single action is a thought. The most empowering thoughts you can have are those of peace, joy, love, acceptance, and willingness. These thoughts don't create a counterforce. Powerful, joyful, loving thoughts stem from your willingness to allow the world to be as it is. Then you're in a state of inner bliss where serenity replaces fighting. Reverence for all of life substitutes for craving and anxiety. And understanding supplants scorn. You become an optimist. Rather than seeing the glass as half empty, it's always half full. All of this is nothing more than a conscious decision on your part to be in charge of your thinking. Be aware at any given moment in your life that you always have a choice about the thoughts you allow in your mind. No one else can put a thought there. Regardless of the circumstances you find yourself in, it is your choice. Choose to replace disempowering, weakening thoughts with thoughts of a higher spiritual frequency. Don't convince yourself that it can't be done or it's easier said than done. Your mind is yours to control. You are the creator and selector of your thoughts. You can change them at will. It is your God-given inheritance, your corner of freedom that no one can take away. No one can have control of your thoughts without your consent. So choose to avoid thoughts that weaken you and you will know true wisdom. It is your choice. <laughs> so I wish for you wonderful, positive thoughts and a happy, healthy, peaceful life. And I send you my love. Until next week. Bye for now.